first call of the day and this one was a pretty easy one because the customers were nice enough to make a nice big blue arrow where the hole was so it was pretty easy to just put a plug in and it was good a nice big blue arrow and it looked like they actually tuck, stuck uh, their own plug in it so because obviously the plugs that they were using were Canadian Tire plugs or something like that Princess Auto and they just weren't working so it was a pretty big hole but my plugs are always the best, so. Okay, so we're in Toronto, and we got a skid steer with a flat tire. Of course, it's busy, so I can't really record, but we got to put steel in the tire because the casing's leaking. And it's a pretty old tire, so that's probably why. So yeah, so we're gonna load it up with steel and then uh, get out of here. This one here, we got one of the worst tires and hardest tires to fix in the world. 355, 625. So first things first, jacked it up. We're also gonna need to change this valve because there's no way I'm getting air into this thing without a jumbo valve. These beads are so tough that I actually have to drop the heavy unit onto the bead to access that. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Usually we put actually seal in, in brand new tires too because it's just so bad that it automatically leaks. Even brand new tires just doesn't, don't make sense. Alright, so basically done. Now we just gotta lay it flat and it should be good. So get the sealant on the bead and everything, you know. One of these big loaders, that's for snow plowing. It's got a flat tire and my dad thinks that he's actually repaired this one before and it has a slice in the sidewall and he said to either change it or just air it up every couple months kind of thing because it's slowly leaking so we're gonna find out if this is the same unit or not just gonna wait for the uh, air to get in it and then spray the sidewall i think i see the slice pretty sure it's down here somewhere it's probably the one all right let's find out if it's the one Sure is. So it's nothing much else we can do. Just air it up. And that's about it, because they need a tire. It hasn't snowed much, so it's not like they really need this unit, but that's cool. There you go. A little bit more bubbles now. All right, so we're changing a couple front tires on a cube van. Thankfully, it's the fronts because it's an old cube van and they are butter wheels. So as two of the conets come off as well as that, you want the inner off. So they don't look, I mean, it seems like they have been spraying them. So that's nice, but it's a front and they don't have that problem. But you do have to remember that with these weird nuts, they actually, on the left side, they actually spin like you're tightening them, but to take them off. So instead of lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, it's actually lefty, tighty, righty, loosey which is kind of weird. I don't know why they designed it like that, but we're gonna change this real quick and get her going. So right now I actually have it going to tighten to take them off. It's kind of weird. Oh. Oh. I was setting this camera up for the specific reason to show you guys that you actually have to loosen them to put them on. And I'm over here trying to tighten the nuts like I'm tightening them. And I just totally forgot that they tighten left. I haven't done these in like forever. But that's just funny that I actually set the camera up just to explain that and I'm done now stupid on the camera. So that's cool. 
you actually have to center these and sometimes the pain because you have to keep it up in there and then tighten it so that it centers on the nut Oh, my God.